I know this isn't a Hyperion video, but this is a last reminder that we do have a knife giveaway for Hyperion.vip right now. You can check the link in the description for more information. Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to legit cheat in CSGO without getting caught. This is targeted towards more newer cheaters, but experienced cheaters can also learn something throughout this entire video. So make sure to watch till the end of the video to get all the information. There'll be five main points throughout this video, and I'll probably go on a few tangents as well about specific things. So so let's go ahead and get into point number one, which is have time in CSGO completely legit before you start cheating. It's important that you understand the basics of the game and how to play before starting cheating because if you're hitting a bunch of sick shots and you're getting a ton of kills or your crosshair placement looks like shit and your movement is terrible, that's pretty sus. So go out, play some MM, maybe play some face it before you start cheating. I'd have probably maybe 250 to 500 hours in the game before you actually start cheating let's go ahead and move on to point number two do not play like content creators in the scene this is something i reiterate over and over and over again do not cheat like content creators because we are here to make content for you guys and if it's regular just legit cheating it's kind of boring to watch so we need to spice it up and play a little bit more blatantly to get good content for you guys all right those are two smaller points now let's get into some bigger points here number three understand the software that you're using. It's important to understand the basics of every single cheat that you use so that you don't get confused or play too blatantly, stuff like that. I'm going to give you guys a very basic rundown of two fundamental areas of a cheat that you need to understand if you want to legit cheat properly. First of all, we're going to go into the aimbot section of the cheat and we're going to look at some of these features. There are four main things that I think you should notice in the aimbot tab and completely understand before using a cheat. First of all, let's look at hitboxes. This is what the aimbot looks for when trying to find a specific target to shoot at. If you put head only on the hitboxes, the aimbot will only shoot for head and it's the same for any other hitbox in the cheat. The second thing is your FOV slider. This draws a circle that your aimbot is looking for. So if your circle is touching any of the hitboxes that you selected, the aimbot will activate and it will move towards the selected hitbox. The third feature you're gonna wanna be looking at is smoothing and this is what smooths out the aimbot so that it doesn't just straight up flick to the hitbox selected. So if you have high smoothing on, it'll slowly move towards the hitbox. And if you have low smoothing on, it'll snap on quickly. And the final thing I want to look at is backtrack. Backtrack is difficult to explain to new players, but seeing it gives you a better understanding of it. So I'll put a visual up on screen right now. Basically, you can shoot behind the enemy when they're moving based on how much ticks or MS you put on the backtrack. So if you have 400 MS backtrack, you can shoot way behind them, but that's more blatant. And if you have 50 MS backtrack, you can shoot a little bit behind them and it's less blatant. All right, we're going to move on over to visuals now. There are ton of stuff that you can add in visuals, but some things you wouldn't want to have on because they would make you look less legit. For example, there's a feature in basically every cheat that lets you see what weapon the enemy is holding. But if you have this on, it might change your judgment about whether or not you should peek something because there might be an opper posted. And if you know the oppers there, why would you want to peek an op? So sometimes it's better just to have these features off instead of on. Another thing you're going to want to know about is the fact that you can turn visuals to only visible, meaning that if you can see the player the visuals are on but if you can't the visuals are off i touch on this a little bit later in the video so wait for that and i'll explain it more in depth moving on to number four avoiding red trust at all costs red trust is an absolute nightmare to be in because your account is basically fucked there are speculative ways to raise your trust factor such as a commend bot but they don't always work so it's better to just avoid it entirely and there are two major points that i like to push to people when talking about avoiding red trust First of all, get a good cheat that has a good rate of not giving red trust to people. Anaria.us is a good option for avoiding red trust. They don't have many red trust issues and the cheat has been undetected for five plus years. And for anybody wondering, no, Anaria.us did not sponsor this video at all. I'm just giving my opinion and stating facts. And the second point I tell people is to not cheat against other cheaters. If you get a cheater in your game, you're going to feel tempted to cheat against them 
them and play a little bit more blatantly, the best thing to do is just take the loss and move on to the next game. Moving on to point number five, don't use cheat settings that you aren't comfortable with yet. I see a lot of new CSGO cheaters go in with walls enabled and all these visuals and everything. Then they go on to get red trust or even overwatch banned. And obviously nobody wants to get their account overwatch banned. So I think the best way to start cheating is go for features that are more legit based than cheating based. For example, if you want to have chams, cool, but have them visible only. You don't want to be staring at people through walls and not even realize that you're doing it because yes, it will happen to a new cheater. And as you get comfortable, you can start layering on new features, playing with those for a bit, and then layering on even more features until you're comfortable with walls completely being on. If you're a little confused and don't know where to start or don't know what features to add, I'll put a list of four different levels of visuals up on screen right now and you guys can go through each level until you're completely comfortable. Obviously, there are a ton of things that I didn't touch on in this video because the video would be way too long if I touched on every single little detail. So for the more experienced cheaters, feel free to leave your wisdom in the comment section down below for the new cheaters. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see ya. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy this one right here where I added a feature every single death. So I started with a completely blank config and then added features as I went.